too bad. Alrighty, so let's continue on. Um, so of course with the previous video that I uploaded, uh, I spoke about the essence and the tickets. Now the reason why I made that video and the reason why I'm actually dropping this video is to inform you guys that we already have an, well, we know who the next character is in terms of who is going to be the next rate up banner character. And it's someone that, let's just say, I feel like most people are going to go head over heels for because it's the wifey. The wifey is dropping boys. So yeah, with all that being said, yeah, Chayan is actually going to be in the game after choice. Once this banner goes long, Chayan will be obviously making her way in. And with that, I'm curious to know on how her weapons are going to come about. Now, before we get a little bit ahead of ourselves, we got a code. That is right. We got ourselves a beautiful code. Now, the question is, how do I put the code in? Um, I think it's got to be in setting, surely. All right. So you head over to settings, account settings, and then redeem code. All right. So it is Hunter. Oh, oh, oh. Hunter. Pass. First. Use. Would you like to use this coupon? Confirm. Selection draw ticket two. Hey, we'll take the free tickets. All right, I'll leave the link for the redemption for iOS down below. Um, but I think the rest of us, aka PC and Android, I think we're good just by doing it in game in terms of getting our two tickets. Happy days. All right, can I claim these? That is right, Chayan is going to be the next high rarity character that is going to be making her way in into the game itself. I mean, if you really think about it, you know, with... Um, even with like how they were doing things over here, with the showcase and whatnot, they kind of went out of their way to kind of show show her involvement. I mean, technically speaking, we we actually have a good grasp and a good idea in terms of um, characters that we're releasing via rate up, man. So yeah, she is going to be uh, an additional character that we are going to be getting our hands on next. So this is why I say save. This is why I mentioned the essence video and the ticket video to make sure that you guys are over prepared. In preparation of at least trying to get her to the rate up mark of course so yep she's, she's she's in the game we're just kind of waiting for her to kind of release um there is a part where you can actually see her supports go in action kind of throat yeah so there's the sword she goes in with the slashes oh no that was a skill okay so we've got a brief look of her skill right there right so uh yeah they did show her off just a little bit when it came to the media showcase um into i mean this that clearly is her ult like that, that, yeah, that, 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 that honestly looks like her ult right there. But um, she looks good. She looks very, very promising, of course. So obviously, this is a rare character I myself and others are preparing for and waiting on. So now we all are aware we're gonna have the husband and wife combination being a thing. Now, with all that being said, I'm uh, the one thing which I'm kind of curious on is that obviously. The only way we can actually get Choi's weapon is by either one crafting it and of course the materials is from the event. Now it's it I mean it kind of openly says already that because you know the game is out and in in, in, you know in, in the festivities and the celebration of things uh, they've made it so that through the event you can get his weapon now I don't know if this is like a one-time deal in terms of hey so the leveling is out choice first rate of banner character so let's make things a little bit more you know how intriguing in terms of hey you can get his weapon for free that's why you should pull for him because you don't have to do the remaining pulls in terms of going for the weapons because i mean at the end of the day it would be pretty bad on their part in terms of if they are trying to make money out of it get the weapon banner going that's what typically all other games do unless and this is where i'm really thinking that which i hope they do is obviously with a new character dropping they do some sort of event such as the dice event you know i can't say this isn't bad you know, as I'm working my way, I'm getting a free multi, I'm getting his weapon, and I'm getting resources while, whilst I'm at it. It's out. It was out for 30 days, so of course I've got more than enough time to uh, potentially get the, all the tickets as, as, as well as the weapon. I feel like they should give the weapon at the very least, so that everyone gets the weapon as well as the characters if they choose to summon. And then of course, with the weapon banner being available, it will then fall in line with people then hunting for the dupes. Um, rather than leaving it as it is, because I mean, I'm 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 really now seeing the difficulty uh, trying to get dupes for this weapon uh, where there's no weapon banner. Like uh, to be honest, if there was a weapon banner for Choi, this would have been a whole lot easier. To whereas doing it right now, it's going to be an absolute hell of a task. Unless you go down the route of crafting it. Now I, again, that's something to also take note of. Crafting weapons is a thing with SSRs. 
um, I'm sure what they'll probably do is make the newest rate up characters weapon kind of exclusive in terms of not being able to craft it so obviously Troy is right there of course I, I mean if they add it straight away then it kind of yeah I, I don't think weaponry is going to be like the key focus for this game then because it really does open up on multiple ways of kind of going about on creating and crafting weapons although the materials are going to be hard to come by and very tough to get um, still it, it gives us that opening of getting the weapon so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see on what netmarble would do because as of right now i am kind of questioning on how they'll do the whole weapon stuff because it really does feel like that with weapons they're going to be a bit more lenient with them especially with hunters um where again i can only go off from what i'm seeing and that's why i'm saying that they're being pretty lenient with it so just kind of wanted to make sure that we're all kind of understanding on this whole free weaponry thing you know just be prepared if things take a 180 turn if they choose to keep it that's fantastic i feel like they should keep it and give everyone at least a free copy of the weapon whilst going for the character as per usual and then if they want to drop a separate weapon banner for the dupes then by all means do so they could also still keep it where you know you can also farm the weapon uh, materials through the event although it's going to be a little bit grindy but it's doable um and then of course i, I, I guess when it comes to the crafting manner what they could do if they choose to is maybe make it so that you can't craft the new weapon and then once the new character comes out then the previous weapon and the pre well, yeah and so when the new character comes out the new weapon comes out and then the previous banner then their weapon goes into the crafting side of things i think that'll be pretty fair to do it but again they could just completely be like you know what nah let's just put the cra let's just put the weapon in the in the crafting um option like straight off the bat i mean they, they could do that so who knows but that is everything. That, 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 and there she is, taking the front spot. Who would have thought? Oh. Okay, yeah, I think she's dropping mid-April, like the first half of mid-April. I think that's when the banner's going to be releasing, unless they want to speed up the process and make it available. Um, technically speaking, they can do that, as there are, there, you know, there is room, there is room. You can keep Toy going and give us new characters. I'm, I'm down for that. But uh, we'll end it off on a high note. I've got a 54 ticket. I was going to save these tickets for summoning, but... Um, think on stream we're gonna do a little bit more so for the sake of the video boys let's see if my rng luck is op just how it was beforehand just casually pulling ssrs like they're absolutely nothing so yeah let's see what we can do but that is pretty much the new character when it comes to summoning a new characters boys that's everything that we know of being the next character so if you guys do want to save um please do so honestly as of right now is it worth saving i would say yes Purely because looking into Choice Kit himself, realistically, there's not much on the table in terms of him doing damage, and I mean a great deal of damage, which is beautiful, but then obviously reducing the enemy's defense by 15%. His kit is, like, if, if I'm realistically comparing him between him and Emma, because, I mean, that's the two, I mean, that's, except that's the duo, right? But if I had to choose one or the other, I would probably lean more towards Emma um in in terms of the uh heat emission and and, and, exor and absorption i think that's what it is that uh she applies through her passive you know so um it and plus there's just a lot more on the table with her in terms of you know what her kit can apply so and the plus 10 percent increase on the burn damage so again there's a lot more on the table with her so toy is fantastic and again the big seller is the fact that you can get his weapon for free but um yeah, I would say save your tickets, save your currency, your essence, and save your premium tickets.